Welcome fellow fans of Clash of Clans, it is your host Galadon, back at it again with another episode of No Cash Clash. That's right, we achieved, somehow, an even number of likes in the last episode, so I promised you we would get an episode 21 underway, so here we go. And yes, you could probably predict it, today we need an odd number of likes in order to continue to episode 22. Can you guys do it? Can the internet come through and make sure that this series continues to steamroll its way to Town Hall 8 and beyond? That's right. I honestly, you guys, I'll tell you this right now. I'm going to make an admission that you may not know about me, or actually you may. As we watch this amazing epic raid right here, I'm going to admit to you that I have never farmed an account past Town Hall 9 without gems. Okay, that's actually not completely true. I don't think I've ever farmed an account past Town Hall 8 without gems. Okay, because the video series that I did last year, the Fix That Rush account, that was a Town Hall 9, and we did gem armies. We didn't gem resources, but we did gem armies. Okay, and then way back in the day when I first started playing Clash of Clans, only Town Hall 9 existed, and I did not max out Town Hall 9 before I started using gems, I will admit. Now, I didn't use a lot of gems early on, and of course, this was back before I was a content creator, so I maybe dropped 5 or 10 bucks here or there just to get something done, maybe to upgrade a hero. It wasn't crazy, and you know, that's the thing. I, If I were not making YouTube videos, trust me, I would not have spent the amount of money I've spent in Clash of Clans just to play this game, okay? There have been other games that I've played completely free to play, like World of Warcraft, or maybe that I did spend more money on, like Lineage 2 Revolution. But no, there's no way that I would have spent crazy amounts on Clash of Clans unless I were creating content. Because you guys love it, and I gotta admit, it's also fun to do in general. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap up this raid. As you can see, we picked up every single drop of Dark Elixir. The rest doesn't really matter. And the Barbarian is still pounding away at the wall. Okay, there it is. Over 700,000 in resources and 1,158. That's a new record, a new high in Dark Elixir for this account. So let's go. Let's get that Barbarian. Uh oh, wait a minute. Hold on. We have no shield. We have no shield and we're about to log out with almost 4 million in gold. That is a bad idea. Okay, that's just inviting someone to come three-star my base and take hundreds of thousands of my hard-earned gold. So, rather than giving away the last raid completely, we go in and we upgrade walls like crazy. We're going to upgrade as many walls as we can, get it down to the point where we're pretty much broke, and then we'll log out, all right? Then they can focus, if they want, on going after my Dark Elixir. Obviously, I've got a pretty good store of that, and everybody wants that these days. They're also upgrading their Barbarian Kings, but that's okay. They're going to have to work harder for that. My defenses are coming along, and now my walls are starting to look pretty intimidating. And I have to tell you, there is a psychological factor to having a well-arranged base with higher-level walls. You will actually scare off a lot of players who would rather move on, especially at this level in the game. Players who would rather find a base that's poorly constructed, like the bases that you usually see me attack in these episodes. Let's just admit it. Okay, so there it is. We've got a bomb that's level 3. Hold on. We're trying to figure out how to do this. So we spent all of our gold down to under 100k. And now we've got one builder remaining. We've got time left on the Barbarian upgrade. We're going to go ahead and throw that builder into... Wait a minute. The Barbarian King. The Barb King. Galadon. The Barb King. Galadon. Galadon. Gal Galadon. What, what is he doing? Why am I going... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm actually confused now. This happens to me every now and then, okay? I don't know. Okay, let's move on, and we'll come back to that later. Uh, just wanted to remind you guys real quick, if you do get a chance, please do go to the basement of Clash of Clans. That means click on settings, click on more settings, scroll all the way to the bottom. It's not scary down there. It's pretty cool. And type in Galadon, okay? It is the creator code, and it sends 5% of what you spend to me through Supercell. It doesn't cost you anything. It's Supercell sending me their money, not you sending me your money. You're still sending your money to Supercell. And uh, yes, uh, you have to spell my name right. You cannot use Peter $17. And I will tell you this, I promise you guys, and I'm in the process of it right now, giving back 10% to charity and 10% to you, the viewers, who are using 
code Galadon. Thank you guys very much for doing that. I do sincerely appreciate it. And you'll notice that it could be lowercase, uppercase. It doesn't matter. As long as you spell my name correctly, it is going to work. Okay. Uh, builder base. Just thought I would show you a highlight of a recent attack. Those of you asking if I'm still working on the builder base, watch out for these crushers, okay? If you send in a crusher, send in a test barbarian to trigger the crusher first. Then send everybody else in behind him. It will already be down and they will get... All right, like I always say, do as I say, not as I do. Um, all right, let's just move on. Oh, send in a couple of barbarians where I sent in one. You probably would have been okay. But we did finish it. But despite those fails, we finished construction reduction. We got a couple more potions and a little more XP. Unfortunately, no gems. And we head back home to search for more Dark Elixir. Now, speaking of Dark Elixir, I wanted to talk about just to review really quickly the four places you can find it in a base. Obviously the drills, okay? Best place to look. Number two, the storage. Also very good. Then of course, the town hall because it is a storage in itself and the clan castle, a lot of people forget. The clan castle can also hold dark elixir if the player has not collected it. Okay, so again, this is just Barch Plus. Nothing really fancy about this raid. Quick and dirty. It takes about... I want to say 15 minutes or so to train this army, which is an eternity in free-to-play players' lives, right? I mean, that's four raids an hour. That really slows things down, but that's why, again, like I said last episode, I find myself playing this throughout the day and not just during the live streams on Facebook Gaming, but whenever I get a chance, whenever Alexa's alarm goes off and tells me there's an army trained, I pop back in and try to do another raid and pick up a little more Dark Elixir. Right here, check out my archers on the back end. This is something I do at the end of a raid when I've got spare troops, especially archers. I try to send them in and have them follow the king. The king will trigger the traps and also likely he will draw the wrath of local splash damage if there still is some Wizard Towers and Mortars will fire on the King, and the Archers oftentimes are the heroines. They get through, take down the Town Hall, and sometimes the Dark Elixir. In this case, obviously, we got a lot further than that. We're going to wrap up with a nice three-star here at the end of this raid. Thanks to, check him out, yes, I cannot tell you how strongly I recommend getting strong CC troops whenever possible. If you can, find a clan that has some higher level players, because Valkyries and Wizards right now... They are absolutely carrying this little army. And there we go. 1,312 Dark Elixir this time. A new personal record. And yes, we did upgrade the Barbarian King. Finally, here we go. Okay, so I didn't lose all that Dark Elixir. We actually were still online for a couple more raids. That's why I didn't do it back a little bit earlier in the episode. But we go right back out. This is the next day. You can see we've got a level 2 Barbarian King. And this time... 1,319 Dark Elixir available, and check out this drill. Thank you. That's right. One archer. She's by herself. Even if we don't get anywhere else at the top of this, top half of this entire village, that archer is going to pick up a ton of Dark Elixir. We know that the most of the rest of it is down here at the bottom. Also, remember that Town Hall 7s are going to have one Dark Elixir drill. Town Hall 8s are going to have two, usually. So keep an eye out when you're doing those raids. Make sure that you focus on the Dark Elixir drills because more often than not, that is where the bulk of the money, the Dark Elixir income is going to be. The storage, it depends. But again, keep a close eye. Make sure you know whether it's empty or full and select accordingly. Sometimes you can even go after much, much more difficult bases. Town Hall 8s and 9s with your little Town Hall 7 if you're just sniping the Dark Elixir. And I, I ain't too proud to snipe, okay? I'm telling you that right now. I am happy to go in, sacrifice some trophies and much of an army just to pick up a free thousand or so Dark Elixir. So here, we've again gotten a lot further than just the core. We've got 60% damage, so we're going to pick up a two-star victory. Good for 22 trophies. And check out the top of the base. She's still working. She's been working since the beginning of the raid, and she will be done. There it is. Every single drop of Dark Elixir is deposited. All right, feels good. But you know what that means? It is time for, well, not quite. Let's check out the village one more time. Okay, so before we go to the status report, I just wanted to show you guys how we're progressing. Like I warned you in other episodes, I will not 
be breaking down every single tedious upgrade of gold mine, elixir collector, or even the defenses. We will be sticking to the key stuff like heroes and key defenses as they come up later on. Now, I just wanted to take a look at this again. Uh, I wanted to tell you guys that uh, I do agree with you that it hurts to see stuff like this as a free-to-play player. Uh, you know, the Rat Pack, I don't even care, right? I'm not going to buy that dumb decoration. Okay, I thought it was cool on my main account, but to be honest. It's the power level right there. $2.99? Now, you can only buy this once. If you'll notice, it showed up in my account. It might not have showed up in yours again, because if you buy it once, it never appears again. It's that good of a deal. But no, we are not touching it. Not even going to tease you like I was going to. Okay. Let's move on to the status report for No Cash Clash, episode 21. And we did pick up a few gems, no big achievements, but the total gems on hand now, 325. The biggest Dark Elixir haul of my lifetime on this account is now 1,319 Dark Elixir. And our next goals, well, simple. We are going to get to 1,250 trophies. We're going to pick up those free, I think it's... 450 gems, I want to say, and we will be on our way. Okay, that's still we're a long ways from the fifth builder, but we're going to get there. And you guys are going to help me with an odd number of likes. Thank you for being amazing. Thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You are the true Gala fam, and I appreciate and love every gosh darn last one of you. So get out there and make the best the rest of your day. Be kind of be playing on the play. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Stop wasting our time talking the whole episode like that last part.